Hi everyone, this is Jessica Marie M. Laurentizo from BS Electronics Engineering 3A and this is ECE 23 Performance Test M02. Now, let's start. What is line coding technique? And specifically, we are going to talk about 4D-PAM5. Now, without further ado, let's start. So, what is line coding? Line coding, also called digital baseband modulation or digital baseband transmission, is a process carried by the transmitter that converts data in the form of binary digits into a baseband digital signal that will represent the data to a transmission line. So, the transmission line in a question could be a link between two devices in a computer network or it could be formed of a much larger telecommunications network. The receiver is responsible for the for converting the incoming line coded signal back to binary data. So we are going to talk about 4D-PAM5. So what is 4D-PAM5? We are going to talk about in this topic what is 4D-PAM5 line coding its benefits or advantages of it in line coding, and its drawbacks or disadvantages of 4D-PAM5 line coding. So first, what is 4D-PAM5 line coding? So it is a multi-level of signal scheme. It is called four-dimensional five-level pulse amplitude modulation scheme. In this code encoded scheme, data are transmitted over four wires simultaneous, simultaneously and five voltage levels are used to represent this data, like negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Level 0 is used for forward error detection. And now, so the last multi-level line coding scheme we are going to look at is 4D-PAM5, 4-dimensional 5-level pulse amplitude modulation. As the rather long-winded name suggested, 4D-PAM5 uses 5 signaling levels. We are referred to them as negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and positive 2. The 4D part refers to the fact that the data is transmitted using 4 wire pairs simultaneously. Before we talk about 4D, ang dash PAM5 in more details, however, a information might help to put things into context. So, in this, in this manner. In this technique, all the 8 bits are fed into wires simultaneously and are transmitted using one signal element. Gigabit LANs use this encoding technique to transmit one GPS and data over four copper cables which can handle 125 M band. If we are assumed that code is just one dimensional, the four levels create something similar to 8B4Q line coding. Now next, so the next topic is the benefits or advantages of 4D dash PAM5 line coding and these are the following. As it sends data over 4 channels, the signal rate is reduced by n over 8. And number 2, it can be used in gigabit LANs to transmit data simultaneously over 4 wires. Number 3, redundant data is used for error detection. Take note, redundant. And number 4, it offers self-synchronization. And lastly, but not the least, there is no DC components in encoded signal. And we are going to, to go to the last topic, which is the drawbacks or disadvantages of 4D-PMM5 line coding. So what is the advantages of it? So 4D-PMM5 maps 2 raised to 8 data patterns to 4 raised to 4 signal patterns. Hence, this coding technique is used a lot of redundancy in the signal patterns. Well, you know, redundant in the advantages can use to toward detection of error but it is also the, the drawback of the 4D dash PAM5 line coding. So the summary of this presentation are line coding 
is a process carried out by a transmitter that converts data in the form of binary digits into a baseband digital signal that will represent the data on the transmission line. So, 4 dip dash PAM5 use 5 voltages, 4 voltages for data transmission, and the 5th voltage for error correction. And another one is it encodes 2 data bits per symbol on each channel enabling the transmission of 8 data bits per clock cycle. And the next one, it can be used in gigabit LANs to transfer data simultaneously over 4 wires. Hmm. And, and lastly, but not the least, the maps to, to the power of 8 pot data patterns to the 4 power of 4 data signal patterns. Hence, this coding technique uses a lot of redundancy in digital patterns signal. And that's all. I am, once again, I am Jessica Marie M. Lortizo from BS Electronics Engineering 3A. This is performance number two from ECE2 task MO2.